Welcome to the College Investor Audio Show, where we talk about the biggest issues impacting millennial money, from student loan debt to side hustles to building wealth. We will show you how to get out of debt so that you can build real wealth for the future. We here at the College Investor Audio Show are big fans of making a budget. Today, we compare the most popular budgeting and money apps to make your life easier. Organizing your financial life is the first step to growing wealth. Technology can help you move in the right direction, that's for sure, specifically using budgeting and money tracking apps. But with the number of apps mushrooming each day, each minute, it's crazy. It can be a little bit tough to know which one to use. After reviewing dozens, and I mean dozens of apps, we've got a comprehensive view of what budgeting apps are worth downloading and which you can go ahead and safely ignore. Plus, it's important to think about what you need for a budgeting app or spending tracker. Do you need hardcore budgeting tools or investment tracking? Maybe you're looking for your credit score? Every budgeting app focuses on a specific niche. And we break down the best in class for every category. This is a short list of the best financial apps in every category. Best budgeting and financial tracking apps. Financial tracking apps are designed to help you track your income, expenses, and net worth over time. Most of these apps also have a budgeting feature that will help you proactively plan your spending based on your income. Here are the best budgeting and financial tracking apps that we have that we have found. YNAB, short for You Need a Budget. <laughs> YNAB is one of the premier budgeting software services. It allows users to set a budget based on their income and adjust categories throughout the month when the unexpected happens. If you earn a decent income, but you're still living paycheck to paycheck, YNAB can help you master your cash flow, start saving, and break the cycle. The cost for YNAB is $6.99 a month or $83.99 annually, and it is by far the best budgeting specific app that we've seen. Clarity Money focuses on clarifying your financial picture. Its primary features are income, expense, and net worth trackers. It's got more categories than many trackers, though, and it now has a weekly budgeting feature, which can help you proactively manage your money. The budgeting feature is best for people with predictable incomes. Make a note of that. As an added bonus, you can track your credit score through Clarity Money, too. Personal Capital. So Personal Capital is one of the original asset allocation, portfolio management, and net worth tracking apps. Users, users can also use the app to track income and expenses. Its strength is in the ability to track investments better than most budgeting apps. Here's a word of caution. Personal Capital is also a financial advisory firm, and the firm will call you to ask you to purchase advisory services. <laughs> Tiller Money. Tiller Money is an app that feeds financial transactions and balance statements to an Excel spreadsheet or a Google Sheet. As far as apps go, it could not be simpler. The downside is that you need to be a bit of a spreadsheet expert or nerd, nerd alert, to find the app easy to use. I'm just kidding, okay. However, it is a top app for people who need flexibility in their apps. You can use it for traditional budgeting, financial tracking, and to build cash flow and profit and loss statements for your business. So cool. Tons of options for you. Emma. Okay, so the Emma app uses machine learning to quickly analyze your financial habits. Its well-designed interface makes exploring your finances pretty easy and fun, too. It has great budgeting and financial tracking features, which are helpful for people who are just getting started. Subscription Canceling Apps. It's crazy to think we need subscription canceling apps, but given the world is migrating to a subscription model, these apps can be very handy. They are a bit different compared to other budgeting apps since they have a focus on saving you money. However, they are building out robust spending tracking and more with every update. Here are some apps that will analyze your spending and then help you negotiate or cancel your bills and subscriptions. Anything from Netflix to your cell phone bill. Trim 
and Truebill are the two we're going to be looking at. Let's talk about Trim first. It's a clever little app. It helps you identify recurring subscriptions and cancel unnecessary subscriptions. Paying for Hulu, Amazon Prime, and Netflix? Trim can help you cut those expenses. Boom. Plus, it can also help you negotiate your cable or cell phone bills to get you better pricing. <laughs> Truebill. Truebill is a subscription monitoring and bill negotiation service. You only have to pay if Truebill actually saves you money. If you're someone who struggles to stay on top of your costs, especially cable and phone bills, Truebill can help you save a lot of money. Plus, Truebill has been building out more and more budgeting and spending tracking capabilities as well. We have a full review of them at thecollegeinvestor.com. Cash back apps... Nothing better than getting rewarded for the spending that you're already doing. Hello? That's what these apps do. You get rewarded via gift cards, cash back for spending money on things you already spend money on. Hopefully you're not spending just to get a small rebate, though. Hmm. Ibotta. Ibotta is an app where users upload receipts and get cash back for their normal purchases. You can even earn cash back when you shop at stores like Aldi. I do or other discount grocers that don't accept coupons. I typically earn around 2 to $3 a week by submitting my grocery receipt to the app. It's not life-changing money, but come on, every dollar counts. Receipt Pal. Much like Ibotta, Receipt Pal allows you to submit photos or receipts of receipts to earn points. Points can be redeemed for gift cards to sites like Amazon or similar retailers. The payouts from Receipt Pal seem to be a little bit lower than Ibotta's, but you can double up on the apps. As a result, it's a great way to earn about $1 to $2 a week. Rakuten. Rakuten is a shopping portal and mobile app that offers cash back in the form of a check when you spend money at certain online stores. Formerly called Ebates, kind of like that name better, this app website is an amazing way to save money on Groupon offers, cruises, and even Walmart online orders. Plus, Rakuten is offering a $10 bonus when you sign up. Best Cash Advance Apps Let's move on to some Cash Advance apps. They're becoming pretty popular payday loan alternatives. These apps are touted as using technology to help consumers better manage their money. And these apps don't nickel and dime users for borrowing small amounts of money. Plus, by doing these quick cash infusions, users can avoid costly overdraft fees and other bank charges. Some of these cash advance apps also combine with bank accounts and more, seeking to be a checking account alternative. Earnin. This is a cash advance app that allows hourly employees to take a free cash advance of up to 500 bucks on money they've already earned. The app comes with up to $100 initially, but you can build up to being able to borrow up to $500. You must meet certain requirements, though, to use the app. Money Lion. So Money Lion is a fee-free checking account. It allows premium users to receive up to $250 as a cash advance. Okay, so what's great about Money Lion is that the cash advance is included in Money Lion's free tier, meaning once you have an account, you don't have any other added charges. Let's take a look at some best investing apps. So there has been a whirlwind of change in, in the investing space over the past few months, with almost every major brokerage going to commission-free trading. This was driven by the wide adoption of investing apps to really help consumers with small portfolios get started investing. It's been nice to see. Let's take a look at some of them. Fidelity. It's a high-quality brokerage company that supports nearly every type of tax-advantaged investment account. And brokerage accounts, too. You can use the app to buy and sell stocks, options, and ETFs for free. This brokerage earned a score of 100 out of 100 in our most recent review, and the app is excellent for most investors. It's also named our number one best free investing app. M1 Finance. So they combine the best of individual stock investing with robo-advisors. Users can create their own portfolio and rebalance it regularly. The whole app is completely commission-free. 
This is one of the best apps to invest for long-term investors because it easily allows investors to dollar cost average their, for their portfolios and rebalance as new funds enter the portfolio. Robinhood. Overall, Robinhood has changed the game when it comes to investing apps, but it does have its limitations. It does offer commission-free trading, crypto, and more, but it's limited in other ways. But if you're someone who has a bit of money in a sandbox for trying out trading strategies, Robinhood can be a good choice. After all, the app offers free stock and ETF trades. Hmm. Best apps for couples. So here are some apps that are designed for couples that have shared or partially shared finances. Each one has features that allow you to communicate with your partner, budget together, and work towards joint goals. Zeta. Zeta is a financial tracking and budgeting app that allows couples to manage money separately and together. The standout feature in Zeta is the bill splits feature that helps couples track who owes whom money. The great thing about Zeta is that it helps empower couples to work together with their money. Love it. Twine. If you and your partner are working towards a joint savings goal, but you have separate finances, Twine is a perfect app for you. It allows you and your partner to set up and contribute toward a joint savings or investment account. You can also budget or track your finances together. Plus, as a bonus, you get five bucks towards your first goal when you sign up. Now, let's take a look at some best credit score apps. Keeping track of your credit score is extremely important. Your credit score can help you get better deals on loans, but it could also cost you an apartment or job if you have poor credit. No kidding. That's where these apps come into play. They help you understand your credit history and credit score and give you insights on how you can improve it. Credit Karma is a financial marketplace. It compares loans, credit cards, and more that seems committed to giving its customers the ultimate and great money experiences. It gives you a free credit score, free tax prep services, and so much more. Plus, they recently announced a high-yield savings account that should be extremely competitive. Credit Sesame. They're one of the original credit score and monitoring apps. It has stayed in its lane continuing to offer a full suite of credit monitoring and tools. If you're just looking to manage your credit score and improve your credit history, check out Credit Sesame's easy-to-use tools. So, why aren't there micro-savings or micro-investing apps on this list, anyway? I've heard all about those. So, for a few years, it seemed like all the advances in the financial app space had to do with micro-saving or micro-investing. Digit and Acorns were some of the front runners in these categories. The idea behind these apps were that you could round up purchases or save just a few dollars or cents at a time. By taking small amounts from your account, a person could save and even invest a few hundred dollars a year. While the concept seems sound, and some people love these apps, I found that they add an unnecessary layer of complexity. A person who can truly only afford to save $100 or $200 a year will see their savings eaten away by the app fees. Those who can save more don't need micro-savings apps. They can just set up an automatic transfer to an investment account of their choice. Here's some final thoughts. The best tool is the one that you use. And there's always a right tool for the job. With all of these apps, they won't help you unless you enjoy using it. So, try it out, see if it works for your style, and hopefully it helps you make positive improvements in your financial life. We have the links to every one of these products and apps that we talked about today. You can find full reviews on every single one of them at thecollegeinvestor.com. I hope this was helpful. If you can share this with somebody else, we would greatly appreciate that too. And again, thank you so much for stopping by, and we'll talk to you again very soon.